bits welcome back to my channel so today i really wanted to show you something okay so i went to my local charity shop it's literally like across the road from me and this book jumped out at me so the first thing i saw was the side the spine sorry saying wizardology so i automatically quickly grabbed it and saw this and i was like wow um i started looking through it um, I have only still had it, I've had it a couple of weeks, I've still only had a quick flick through and I thought we'd look through this together. I did a short video of this on Instagram showing the pages and I put a short video on TikTok as well. But a lovely friend of mine, Pedro, 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 um, Pedro commented on the Instagram and I can't remember how our conversation went Pedro but we did say, didn't we, that well I said I would do a video for you a bit more in depth on this book because Pedro thought this book looked really interesting so yes this video is for me I wanted to do this and for everybody to watch but Pedro I have you in mind while filming this so Pedro and everybody let's delve into this a little bit more like I said I have only still had a flip quick flick through this um it, but it's beautiful I've read little bits of it it's absolutely gorgeous there's pop out things what from what I can gather this book, as you go through it, it makes you think that you seriously have something powerful in your hands. Um, and I, I really can't wait to show you guys. It's absolutely amazing. What I loved as well is people, there were people commented on the Instagram reel saying, oh, I had this book when I was younger. I didn't know these books existed. There are more. There's Pyrotology. There's one on fairies, um, Egyptians. A lovely, lovely girl on Instagram, bless you darling, she sent me videos of some of the ones, all the ones she's got that are obviously, uh, not, it wasn't pyrotology, there was fairies, oh which ones did you send me darling, I can't remember, but I can't thank you enough for taking the time to take these little videos for me and show me these books, they're absolutely stunning, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and doing that for me. So if you want to see the magic that lies within this wizardology book, then keep on watching and if this is the first time you've seen my face hello and welcome to my channel if you love anything to do with harry potter this is the place for you join the magic and mayhem hit that subscribe button because i'd love to have you massive thank you to these guys these guys are my patreons they help me keep this channel running just that little bit more if you'd like to know anything about patreon it's linked in the description of this video along with my social medias go see what i'm up to on those Another reason why I'm looking forward to this video is I am so tired. We are currently doing quite a big house project at the minute and we're in such a mess and I am so tired. I literally finished Friday but then had to carry on um, and all weekend we're just in such a mess. But I'm actually vlogging what we're doing um, so you will see it at some point because this is something that I'm excited about to have done in the home and um yeah i, I kind of want to show you guys because it's quite big for me and you're my friends and i want to share this big change with you guys because you're my friends so this is going to be a nice chilled video for one day and um let me set the camera up so that you're looking at the book with me because i'm excited to look through this properly for the first time with you guys so here we are guys it's on my lap and we're going to get started can we just talk about the front cover first i mean look at that silver foiling and it's got kind of like a holograph holly hol holographic holographic feel to it is it holographic is that the right word where it's got that shine and then you can see like rainbow colors i'm sure it's holographic someone please correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but yeah, so the book of the secrets of Merlin. This is so exciting. We've got some little gems in there. Oh, this is even beautiful here. We've got a unicorn. This looks like a hippogriff. We've got, that kind of looks like a kelpie. And then that looks like a thunderbird. Okay, so the first page. Oh my days. This is not even a page. It's just the inside of the front cover. We've got a little envelope here. Let's open that up first. So what does this say? Wizardology having been originally printed in Elizabethan, Elizabethan England was reportedly re... I can't read it. It's in a different... Hang on. If you want to pause it and read it, feel free. I don't even know if you can... Yep. I'm trying. Okay. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, so we have a letter in here. This 
book by the way that i found obviously in the charity shop was a pound bargain so we have a letter here let each reader or apprentice write their name here that it stand as a record for all time oh what i'm going to do guys feel free to pause that and read it if you want to there we go and let's just have a look at the back 1000 years have passed since i merlin mighty wizard of the pendragons magically defender of the britons and wise enchanter of the sword excalibur was imprisoned for all eternity in an oak tree by the cunning sorceress vivienne who some call nimu I think that's right. 1,000 years since wizardology was practised in its true form, for the secret knowledge is grown scarce. Now most of those who call themselves wizards are but meddlers, unworthy of the name, while those who would make the best apprentices squander their time on a host of fledgling sciences. I have therefore, therefore by that magic which still remains to me, caused a part of the oak that is my prison to be made into a book. <gasps> So that at last an apprentice may be found to seek out and learn the old secrets. Ah, oh, my days, if you want to pause that and carry on reading, that's entirely up to you. But this sounds so magical already. Oh, this is so cool. Right, we'll put that back in there nicely. There we go. This book is in great condition, by the way. So we've got the book of the secrets of Merlin, wizardology being a true account of wizards, their ways and many wonderful powers as told by the master Merlin. Oh, this is just amazing. Okay, first page, guys. Honestly, the illustrations in this book are absolutely amazing. Like I said, I have had a quick flick through. So chapter one, the work of a wizard. Oh, this is awesome. So let's have, what I'm going to do, you can, hang on. If you want to pause and read any, hang on. You can do because I'm only having a quick, I'm not going to sit and read the whole book to you guys, but there you go. You can pause that and have a read. I hope I showed that okay. If not, you have to let me know and I'll post pictures somewhere for you so you can read. So a warning, wizardology is not a subject to be potted with. Potted? Potter. Hmm. Heed the example of Dr. Faustus, who made an ill-advised pact with a rather nasty spirit. He got everything he wanted, but had to pay for it with his soul. So basically, from what I can gather, chapter one is, I mean, we have who can be a wizard. Um, while it can be useful to be of mixed fairy human blood like myself, anyone can become a wizard. Anyone can become a wizard. All that is needed is a commitment to follow these simple rules, to live like a hermit, to work like a plough horse and to give up all worldly pleasures in order to further the good of nature and humankind. Oh, good spirits. Um, so a wizard works with the assistance of good fairies, elves and other spir spirits. Magic and science. Magic is not one of the nature, natural sciences. Um, wizards do not seek to perform repeatable experiments. Alchemists, astronomers, natural philosophers and geographers who consider their work to be on, on a par with that of wizards are sadly mistaken. Oh my days. This is just so interesting to read. We have contents here as well. So chapter one, the work of a wizard. Chapter two, a wizard's map of the world. Uh, three, the Master Wizard's Workshop. Uh, four, a Wizard's Robes and Tools. Oh, that'll be a good one. Five, a Wizard's Loyal Familiars. Speaking of familiars, I did see this. To call my familiar harpier, flap your arms, hoot three times like an owl, and think of field mice. Should we give this a go? Hoot! 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 Think of field mice. Well, that didn't do anything. That just made me look stupid. Let's get back to the book. Okay, let's go on to the next page together. So, oh, this all opens up. Guys, look. Oh, look, guys. Okay, this is awesome. So, this is the map of locations of wizards in the known world. I'm actually going to put a picture up on the screen of each page. <coughs> so, if you want to, you can pause then and you can have a proper look through yourself. So this tells you a little bit about different wizards around the world. So we've got <clears throat> South American wizards. Few know about the great South American wizards who are even now doing what they can to save the remnants of their people from the con... Oh dear. Conquist... Con Conquistadors? I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, the secret council of Cajamarca in 
Kajamaka, please say I'm saying this right, in 1532, it was decided that most of the remaining wizards should go into hiding, awaiting the most favourable moment to reveal themselves once more. Then it tells you about European wizards, Lapshamans, what's that, often dressed in red and white furs and bearing toys and gifts on their reindeer pulled sleighs. The Lapshamans of the extreme north are the merriest of all wizards. They use their magic to bring good luck to huntsmen and to call down good weather. Their jolly antics bring joy and laughter during the coldest, darkest days of the winter months. So basically they play Santa. Then we've got Arabian sages, Indian fakirs, if that's how you say it, and Chinese masters. And then, yeah, we've got this map here. So with various of the names of the countries in which they are most plentifully found, E. Nichol, e, e. Nichols, Premier Cartographer, Bristol, England, and then whatever that is there. But this is really cool. A map of the locations of wizards in the known world. This is so cool. I really like this. Oh, and then on here... So this map of the world may assist the apprentice in locating these other sorts of wizards. It must be remarked, however, that it has merely been compiled with the knowledge of non-wizard cartographers and is therefore somewhat lacking in accuracy. In the unlikely event that you eventually achieve the power of flight, it will be a task of little moment to familiarise yourself with the actual layout of the terrestrial, terrestrial globe. It will then be in your power to offer considerable nav navigational assistance to sailors. So, oh, and then we have a spell here to assist sailors and mix the ground horn of a sea serpent with dried albatross spittle and blow into ship sails as you cry. Oh, a western wind when wilt thou blow, the small rain down can rain. All sailors roam but long for home, so blown that blow them back again. That's so cool. And then we've got star signs here and the constellations. This is so cool. Oh, this is amazing. I'm a Leo. Where's Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. There's me. Leo the lion, but I'm a Ravenclaw. But yet they reckon most Leos are, what's this? Are a Gryffindor. Oh, okay. We have some movement here. This is so cool. So chapter three, the Master Wizards Workshop. As in a magic mirror, I have caused many images to appear in this book. Below is a likeliness of my own wizard's workshop. If it seems to draw you, then perhaps you will make a worthwhile wizard despite my serious doubts. Okay. So we've got library, wardrobe, crystal ball, skull. Then there's ingredients, a fireplace. The workshop is the place where a wizard weaves most of his magic. It should be guarded at all times from unwanted intruders. Again, there will be a picture so you can have a read yourself, but we're just having a quick look. I do want to have a proper read through this, though. Oh, look! Okay, so I don't think... Oh, does it mean it should be... Oh, it, oh, it's like a book! Okay, so it's a book on a table, but you can actually use it. So this looks like it's on dragons, which is really, really cool. Um, We've got a little envelope here that opens up. And it's like how wings work or something. That is so cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then, yeah, it just tells you what sort of thing you have within the wizard's office. Um, It says here, for instance, a skull. While not strictly necessary, a polished skull may serve to impress patrons and act as a useful paperweight. <laughs> the older and more mysterious looking, the better. You can get it to talk to you if you feel lonely. Okay, that's cool. It would also creep me out. I'm not going to lie. But look at this. See, it does. It looks like a Kelpie, this thing. And it looks like it's chasing a ship. That is awesome. I like all the pop out details as well. Oh, we've got another one here. Okay, so this looks like the Hogwarts acceptance letter. This one here looks a bit like a howler. I'm not going to lie. And we've got a skull in there. That is really cool. I like that. Okay, chapter four. A wizard's robes and tools. So we've got wands. Oh, making a wand. So, oh my days. Depending on the type of magic you wish to work, seek out a, a suitable tree of on the night of the new moon. Politely ask the tree and its botricles. It doesn't really say that, but I added that bit in. And its owner, oh, it could be botricles, for permission to cut a branch. So cut a branch, remove twigs and leaves, whittle into a wand shape. And a theme or wizard's knife must be used to cut the wand 
<clears throat> which may be finished with appropriate crystal stones or the wizard's name in symbols. That's so cool. That is really cool. And then it talks about staffs as well. Um, a wizard in his power, dressed in magnificent robes and equipped with a staff or wand, the wizard may easily demonstrate his arcane mastery to any whining apprentices who doubt him. So we have a fairy flag here. Wave with care. The fairy flag. Oh, wow. It's got like a little flag in here. The flag must be waved outdoors by starlight in a place that is near to a source of running water. Carrying a small piece of the flag about your person may provide a modicum of magical protection. Okay, that's really cool that that's added. And then it tells you a bit about a fairy flag here. This scrap of material is all that remains of an enchanted banner my fairy father gifted my mother before he returned to his own folk. Like the famous fairy flag of the MacLeod clan that is kept in their stronghold of Dunvegan, it has the power to bestow three wishes upon its owner. Two of these wishes have been used up. You must be very careful that you wish for what you wish for with the third, as it's likely that the flag's magical potency remains strong. Are you prepared for your wish to come true? I don't know. Wow. So we've got a wish here on a piece of fairy flag that's really cool and this tells you about the athane a wizard's knife um a wizard's wardrobe so it tells you about obviously what they wear we've got a western wizard set up here arabian sage and lap shaman the ones that play santa ah oh, this is so cool and then headwear for wizards i do really like this then we've got, is this chapter five? I'm so bad with Roman numerals. I'm sure this is chapter five. Spellcraft. Now, this is my sort of yes. So, yeah, it's telling you about spells, I'm assuming. Let's have a quick look. Sephir's Golem. This animating spell will protect your workshop. Form a mannequin of clay. Place it in its mouth a paper with the name Bethamet written upon it. Then tap it thrice with mistletoe wand crying with this name so shall you be alive to god over all oh it's meant to say over i'm not quite sure how you pronounce it without the v because i say over over all you see with this charm i the endow the power of protect the power to protect me now that's really cool so the, it is there's another spell here bestia and emo my human shape shall go bestio best bestieta it shall be for the better bestio anifornum i'll turn into a so this is to turn into something causes you to adopt the guise of any beast you choose take care to perform it all aright you would seem foolish indeed parading through the public street looking normal yet crowing like a rooster i like that it's got funny little things i do like this so yeah, it just tells you some different spells in here. And then we've got a little pop out here, spells and how to cast them. I Again, there will be a picture so that you can read that yourself. This is so cool. Oh, we've even got forbidden spells. Uh, the cunning apprentice who has read this book may find interesting ways of using his wizardological, that's a big word, powers to take revenge on people he feels have attacked or wronged him. You must remember that spells... To change your enemies into toads or to make them dance upon the highway until they drop are forbidden and lie very much in the provenance of dark magic. Oh, so we have a bit of dark. We've got defensive magic. Uh, Keys locator, what's this? Dr. Keys locator spell is a simple way of calling upon a cat or bird to show you the way to something you have lost. Use your hands to gesture towards the creature. Cry, what was lost shall now be found in the air or on the ground. Subito, rapido, rapidly, bite, fly or swim or crawl on feet. Or is that beat then? Because it's supposed to rhyme. Yes, Susie, whatever. Okay. Okay, so loyal familiars. So we're on familiars now, guys. Chapter six. So again, Raymond, no, that's not my forte. Dogs, cats, toads, ducks, fishes, owls. My familiars, so this is Merlin's familiars, my own familiars, my cat, Grey Malkin, my hedgehog, Paddock, and of course, my fateful owl, Harpier, were not always such kindly characters. Once they dwelt with three witches on a heath somewhere in the ancient kingdom of Scotland. 
oh this is so cool so it tells you just common wizard familiars um uh, a selection of the most usual kinds of wizardological cre wizardological creature also their secret names so you've got pie wacket harpier vinegar tom vinegar tom grizzle greedy gut <laughs> sack and sugar sack and sugar to the toad okay so and then naming your familiar once you've decided upon the secret name that you are going to give your familiar pass your hand over it again five times crying now i'll give you a new name secret as a hidden flame it's a secret none shall see only we two you and me with my hand i make the spell your new name to none i'll tell it is and then obviously you say their name this is just amazing We've got a little pull out here and it's all about animal magic, a guide to animal magic. This is absolutely insane. Ah, oh, I'll turn the pages so that you can read them and pause if you want to. It tells you about magical beasts. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Familiars are animals. Okay, next page. A wizard's menagerie of magical beasts. I'm really sorry that this is long, but I am really enjoying this book, guys, and I hope you're enjoying this with me. So it tells you about some of the magical bees. So again, there will be a picture so that you can read these yourself. But we've got it's about we've got unicorns, dragons, salamanders, griffin, giant, ASP, elephant, phoenix, camel, camelopard, camelopard. So it's like giraffe, leopard. No, camel, giraffe. What? Camel, lem camel leopard, what is wrong with me? And then what's this? Here for, while many people doubt the very existence of such supposedly mythical creatures as dragons, unicorns, elephants and salamanders, wizards are very familiar with them and often have dealings with them. So this is a pendant. Let's have a look at this quickly. Here for it is of paramount importance that the apprentice learn that these various creatures look like what their magical uses are and also the places where they are found. Being wizards, we have a simpler method of locating these beasts and tracking them to their lairs using signs such as spore or paw prints. It is called the beast locator. To use it, fix the pendant below to a string, thread or fine chain so that it is able to swing freely. Go to an area where you suspect there are magical creatures. Lost my place then. Wind, wind the string so that the pendant will spin when it is released. Then let it spin as you shout the words Hic Bestarium. When the pendant is finally at rest, if the dragon images face you, it signifies the likely presence of beasts. But if it is the image of the egg, then there are none. Secure the pendant with a length of thread or twine. So yeah, we've got an egg one side and a dragon the other. Search with caution, be ruled by wisdom. Be careful of what you seek, you may well find it. Okay, that is really cool. Um, those of you that know me know I love my magical creatures too. Okay, so magical flight, something that we're all interested to in in the wizarding world. So this tells you, with a chat, it says magical flight and flying carpets. So we've got broomsticks, and I did read this earlier, and it made, it did make me laugh. Broomsticks are not often used by wizards, as they can be uncomfortable to ride, either forwards or backwards. If you're able to afford it, I would recommend one of the most luxurious and civilised methods of flight, such as flying carpets. And then we've got a flying ointment here. So there's different ways to use flight. Then we've got... Feet wear for wizards, amazing seven league boots. So these help you levitate or fly, I think, because I did have a look at this page earlier. Um, it says here, in general, silk carpets from Persia travel the fastest as they offer the least resistance to the wind. Now, this, is it, was it this? Yes, it is. So this lets you know how to make your item fly, like your broomstick, your carpet, your footwear. There is a spell and something you have to do. One thing that is known to very few non-wizards is that all of the various methods of flying by broomstick, flying carpet or seven league boots use the same spell. The chief ingredient in this spell is a phoenix feather. 
For six hours, hold the feather above the object to be charmed. Think about flying and repeat the words up, up and away over and over again. Now fix the feather to the charmed object. You will be able to bid the object to fly by uttering the command Athilo. When you are airborne, it is important to remember that you are actually being carried by invisible fairies. So do not say anything or do anything to upset them as they may decide to drop you. And then this really like it excited me and i don't know why because it's not real but it is it's real all right we got a phoenix feather so keep this feather covered when not in use otherwise this book may develop a tendency to fly away take care to conceal this feather if you are going to have any dealings with a friendly phoenix so this is awesome so this is all levitation rules of flight so there's rules as well oh I do like this chapter. This is a good chapter. So another good chapter. I love potions. So chapter, whatever this one is, potions, healing and magical transformations. So we've got connect, uh, collecting of ingredients. Again, there'll be a photo so you can have a look yourself. We've got, um, so we've got a list of some of fairly typical potions that a wizard may need to prepare. So a love filter, a healing draught, or drought, whatever you call it. I, I think I always say the wrong one. A wisdom potion, a future seeing ointment. That's quite cool. Uh, just if we've seen that flying ointments are most often the creation of duplic oh, duplicitous charlatans. Many other potions also have little in the way of magical effects apart from to engender vomiting. Yet genuine potions rather than those sold at the roadside by mountain ba mount banks are a very efficient way of causing wizard wizardological changes. There's some big words in here and I'm it's literally racking my brain. However, the art of making potions requires extraordinary care and skill, two qualities most usually lacking in the commoner sort of apprentice. As this apprentice's ears grew longer, so his stay with me grew shorter. And then we've got the wizard's apothecary here. So I will show this a bit more in detail so that you can have a look through that yourself if you want to. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. A story, I can't read that because of the, the font. A tale of magical transformation. So this is about transformations. The boy, the hare, the salmon, the dove, the grain of wheat. The grain of wheat. Uh, the woman, the, the hound, the otter, the hawk, the pecking hen. So these are people that can transform. Unless you like to wear asses ears, remember that none of your magic will work until you have found all of the 13 magical treasures. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, I hope you're enjoying this, guys. Okay, so this chapter is all about amulets, talismans and magical items. With magic, a length of wood may become a powerful wand or a mixture of herbs and enchanted potion. By the same art, a wizard may turn an, ex an ordinary object into a magical one. So this is really cool. This is really cool to learn about. We've got wind knots or wind knots, Jupiter amulet, my sigillum. I can't say that. The unicorn talisman. We've got trapping spirits. So like a genie in a bottle sort of thing. Um, rings of power. That's really cool. And then we've got something on dark magic here. And then, oh wow. We've got, are these moon phases? Oh, let's have a look. Transforming, protecting, hiding. All right, so type of spell. Um, the moon uh oh the symbol so we've got moon mercury venus sun mars jupiter and saturn we've got types of spells color day um animals and birds metals gemstones wood plants type of fairy or elf and planetary seal Note that both lead and mercury are toxic poisons. The apprentice must never work with them nor touch them with their bare skin. Pewter and platinum are acceptable sub substitutes. Oh, that's really cool. This is cool. So dark magic. If you find the following items being used, beware of dark wizards. The hand of glory. So if you see this this item you'd stay away from it stay away from the hand of glory a talisman that is used by thieves to prevent victims from waking it is made from the severed hand of a murderer 
stuck with a candle of tallow. It is a grisly artefact. Elf arrows, so they're something to keep away from, and poppets. Poppets? That's us. No, we're, we're not dark wizards and witches. We're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, I just went dizzy then the word to my head. Oh, divination and crystal gazing, guys. Oh, my days. So, <clears throat> um, a speculum is a device used for seeing the future. Four spirits are ready to assist you. So, you've got crystal bowl, bowl of water, polished stone, and a magic mirror. And then it tells you about each of them there. Again, the it will be a photo so you can pause and read if you want palmistry so it tells you about palmistry you've got your heart line headline fate line and lifeline a wizard's ability to predict future events should be used sparingly um there's a method the magpie method if you live near magpies you may think of a question and count the number of birds you see the answer is told by this rhyme one for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret never to be told. The answer may not be straightforward. I know this, and I bet a lot of you know this little rhyme here. Um, my mum used to say it when I was younger, and obviously I say it now. And always salute your magpies when you see just one. It's bad. Is it bad luck just to see one? I always have magpies in my garden. Always, always. Then uh, we've got dowsing. So a pendulum or split hazel stick you can practice dowsing. Uh, it's a method for finding hidden treasure or underground water. Hold the stick lightly as shown. Practice by hiding a metal coin in a garden. Then walk across the garden until you feel the twig twitch or the pendulum swing. But if you hide it, you're going to know where it is. So... I don't know if that I'd, I'd have to get Matt to hide it. I'd have to get Matt to hide it. So reading the cards. So this is like tarot. Beware of false prophecies. Usually it is better not to know too much about what the future holds. Some things you see in the ball may happen more quickly than you think. Talks about card divination. And then what do we have here? No way. No way. We have some cards. Okay, let's have a quick look. So this is an earth card. So it says envy, greed, and materialism, wealth, and earthness, earthiness. We have got fire. We have got heat. We've got water. We've got dryness, cold, air, and moisture. They're really cold. Oh, I love this book so much. This is really awesome. Okay, let me pull that back in there. Was it in there? I don't think it was. It opened really easy. Right, next page. We're coming to the end, guys, bit now. So, al alchemy, astrology, and the new sciences. Okay. Oh, the philosopher's stone, guys. That's awesome. The fictional stone this fictional stone is thought to remove impurities from base metals and so create gold and also to help humans live forever. Sadly, tales of the Philosopher's Stone are nonsense. The nut! Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone! It's real! It's real! Oh, my days! Ah, oh, alchemy. It talks about alchemy, astrology and astronomy. Um... Oh, and we've got some little setup down here and it's got pop-ups. I like all this and open things. <laughs> oh, my days. An alambic al may be used to produce non-magical spirits. Non-magical spirits? Yeah, non-magical spirits. And then we've got this here. Metal tongs must be used to handle the crucible in the Athena. Athena? Athena? And Athena is a furnace used for melting and combining metals and other substances oh this is just amazing i love this so much it tells you all heavenly bodies rotate around the earth the planets all rotate around the sun this is just amazing okay famous wizards of history so this is so cool so it gives you some famous wizards and tells you the history about them why is merlin not in here okay oh so that even the most gullible apprentice may start to learn the art of discerning in an in discern 
This then in a true wizard from a common conjurer who performs tricks and illusions with cups and cards. It will be instructive to read a little about some of those who have famously been styled wizards in the past. I have also included a brief outline of my own life so as to inspire the apprentice by giving him an example of a life lived in complete and utter, dedi utter dedication to the noble art of wizardology. There have been many... There have been very many people who have called themselves wizards, but most have been merely char charlatans. Charlatans, sorry. For if there is one thing a true wizard is sworn to above all, it is complete secrecy. This is so cool. So yeah, we have some famous wizards on here and obviously some of their history. That's so cool. And then the last page, guys, conclusion or the mystery of wizardology revealed and concealed. The humble apprentice who has now become a master wizard must take up his wand and vow that he shall never rest until the great work is done. This is so cool. And then we've got good luck. Um, does that, oh, it's the font, the cipher, does that say? Um, oh, he's even signed it. Keep this book secret, only pass it on to a true friend. Well, I'm sharing it with you guys because you're my true friends. So that's why. As I will um, keep this book secret, only pass it on to a true, true friend as I will. So mote it be Merlin. Spirits of the earth and air, my magic almost done. Yet see the ones who read this here, their magic's just begun. This is absolutely such a beautiful book and I really love it. And oh, look at this is so shiny we've got merlin there oh it's so lovely and then we've got a last little thing to open here as this has never been opened how do i open this without ripping anything let's have a look oh okay take that off that came off nicely and let's see what we have in here oh what's this <gasps> Okay, Harpier's book. The answer to any magical question can be found within my pages. Think of the question who, three times like an owl as you turn anti-clockwise. Anti I didn't do that bit, that's why Harpier didn't come. Okay, I get it now. He didn't say that. Open a page at random and there's your answer. Use with caution. Harpier's book. Harpier's head turns round and round. No. <laughs> Harpy gives you a sideways look. How should I know that? Okay, this is really cool. This is absolutely awesome. And I have to say, this is one of the most magical books I have ever, ever, ever come across. And I absolutely love it. That just tucks in there, I'm guessing. But yeah, that is the book of Wizardology. If you are unshakable in your desire to learn Wizardology, then in the absence of a wizard of flesh and blood, this book will offer you the assistance and encouragement you would receive at my hands where I stand in before you as your master. Merlin, 1577. Guys, I'm so pleased I waited and showed, went through this book properly with you guys. I mean, I haven't read it all properly and I st it's just made me want to read it all the more. Um, this book's amazing. It really feels like you have this magical piece in your hand, this secret, and it's sort of been, it's kind of been passed to me in a sense if you think about it. I didn't go out looking for this book. This book found me in a charity shop, so I feel chosen right now. I am the chosen one. Pedro, my darling, I hope I did this justice for you, this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at this book in more depth. And I hope everybody else enjoyed it too. I really do. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have this book? Did you used to read this book when you were younger? Have you never heard of this book like me? I've never heard of it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I do see a lot of similarities with the wizarding world, like Harry Potter style, like the Philosopher's Stone, you know, broomsticks, um, some of the magical creatures in there. It just all seems really connected and i really like that as well because obviously as we all know i love harry potter i'm obsessed it's a massive passion and i love it so much and this also is absolutely amazing but yeah let me know what you think in the comments that is the end of today's video guys so please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it helps more than you know and i will speak to you all in my next video bye pods poppets